The key words are organizing, influencing, and inspiring. Civil Society Urban Development Platform was part of the discussions in Quito. Mombasa is the first county which has developed a um, county land management administration bill. When you mobilize people appropriately, no one is left behind. For many decades, Kenya's urban planning was a preserve of government agencies. No wonder the disconnect in the chain of planning, execution, and uptake of different infrastructure and services. The new urban agenda seeks to address the emerging urbanization problems by pushing its three main principles of leaving no one behind, ensuring sustainable and inclusive urban economies, and environmental sustainability. However, the surge of people in the urban space squeezes available resources, has the need to innovate solutions towards sustainability. The platform presents a credible convergence point for state officials, civil society organizations, private sector, urban development experts, research institutions, development partners, and the general public. It thrives in coordinating non-governmental organizations and empowering urban communities to self-organize and contribute to urban governance. We are now in a new uh, devolution order that creates one, devolves resources, uh, two, brings government closer to the people, uh, and three, allows people to participate actively in shaping and informing uh, the government decisions. Civil Society Urban Development Platform, CSGDP, has been at the heart of the new Urban Agenda discourse and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development in Kenya. We played a very central role in coordinating civil society voices and, and recommendations to be uh, incorporated within the new Urban Agenda. And we formed a, a civil society uh, habitat-free caucus that embraces one very key uh, principle and that is leaving no one behind. We worked uh, through an approach, one that was built on implementing partnership arrangement uh, where we have worked with uh, uh, about 18 uh, different partners. We also worked on an approach that was uh, focusing on, uh, on grassroots uh, coordination. Uh, we also did uh, embrace an approach that looked at uh, strengthening institutional partnerships. And, and through the institutional partnerships, we have uh, very strong engagements with research institutions, but as well as governmental agencies and departments. The entry of CSUDP in Kenya's counties through the local urban forums broke many barriers and set a stage for mutual engagement between duty bearers and rights holders. The local urban forums uh, are platforms that have been created uh, in the counties. This has, our, has been our linkage to this uh, grassroots uh, population in these counties. These local urban forums have been drawn from uh, over 3,500 civil society organizations. We need good health systems. We need good education systems. Um, we need um, social cultural places where people can practice their religion and all, all, all sort of things. We need social services. Uh, you know, we need to deal with gender issues and all all these sort of things. And if we, if we ignore these social issues, again, it is not envisaged that we can develop uh, really as a country, that we can develop as a people. Affordable housing, which is a solid pillar of Kenya's development blueprint, has found a home in the National Cooperative Housing Union, NACHU. CSGP actually was really assisting us. We did so many uh, trainings in all those counties. These members actually all were saving to us actually acquiring houses. If you densify a housing scheme and you have um, a thousand people living in a neighborhood that perhaps initially was, was horizontally spread and had less people, you then have the issue about concentrating waste within that same area. Now we've got to start thinking about um, introducing value into this waste so that as part of the affordability of this housing is that we turn the waste that you generate in your own household 
as a money venture. You basically are saying waste is wealth. Promoget has, uh, has worked with CCDP for eight years. So what we did therefore is to work on models such as model for access to water, models for access to housing, models for uh, uh, having a clean environment, models for land tenure, developing models that can work. Because we realize that the models that are deployed in the built environment today and in various forms of governance tend to exclude the low income because the models are expensive and are based on a formal relationship that are not uh, available to those in the low income area. The pastoralist area and with the history of marginalization, there are a lot of challenges in terms of info community knowing their right or getting services from the, the devolution. So the idea of Garissa Local Urban Forum was the work of uh, CSDP. So from there we started working with them. They gave us a lot of capacity building in terms of leadership, in terms of uh, doing advocacy. After the construction of now those facilities, now it was easier now the community now to do their business and now and to save time and also save money. We've been able to construct rainwater harvesting tanks and we have also uh, constructed uh, VIP latrines in beneficiary schools in this county. We have also installed uh, hand washing stations. Children used to carry water from, school, from home to school and some of them would be asked to leave school uh, during uh, school uh, hours to go and look for water. Right now quite a number of them have been able to get to secondary schools due to good performance that they have re registered. Hygiene and sanitation in the same schools have also Im improved. And again, if you look at the absenteeism of these children in schools due to waterborne related diseases, it has also reduced. One of the biggest learnings from, from this um, project that we undertaken, we undertook with CCDP is that we were able to learn that um, if you give community the right information, they are able to demand rights on their own. And that was one of the things we were seeking to do, that can we change the narrative that societies cannot move if a politician does not come? That societies cannot move if you, if you, if you do not uh, maybe facilitate a community. And information was a powerful tool for us. We were able to do a lot of human rights trainings, and this is something that had not been done before. We have successfully been able to change our urban spaces through focusing on uh, entrepreneurship, having an enabling environment for public spaces. We recruited a small enterprises and uh, develop a curriculum jointly with CDP and capacity build those entrepreneurs. We are able to pilot uh, some few resources and we give it as a small loan to be able to boost their enterprises. We were able to be to organize and bring together over 60 uh, civil society organizations. Two, uh, through this forum, we have been able to influence a number of key decisions uh, in lawmaking and even service delivery. And three, through the forum, we have also managed to make these communities get inspired to be able to receive uh, basic service deliveries. From the GCOS that they were given, they make their own charcoal. For those who did not access the electricity, they were given the solars. Quite a good number responded that, that even their pupils, their school-going children, can now be able to do their homeworks in time, because initially they didn't have electricity. Vika is one of the towns with so many, uh, so many uh, girls who have dropped out from school, who are street children. So we've been training young girls on various courses on, on, on hairdressing and beauty. We've also had um, uh, partnerships around the creative industry sector, uh, Sarakasi Trust, 
Uwezo Awareness Organization that are working with, with the localized talent and particularly those who are in deprived areas such as the informal settlements. And in the youth, we, we set up a partnership around uh, a youth talent and positive development program, which is called Talanta Mtani. And this partnership cuts across non-state, which is ourselves, and, and ways awareness, and also the private sector, Standard Group, and CIPLA International, and others. We have developed a curriculum called uh, PIMA uh, that we use. So we travel around the country and we showcase talent, diverse talent. We don't put any uh, limitations to it. We have people who've been signed up to be able to support different institutions in entertainment. We have bands that have been established entertaining people. It's turning out to be a reality where talent actually pays. Any period or season of rains, then we are in all sorts of commotion. The floods uh, uh, that come from the excessive rains, the, the runoffs that are from urban concrete areas or concrete jungles, it's just causing so much commotion in the urban areas. So we have to create a lot of sensitivity to environmental matters. Around Lake Nakuru National Park, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, solid waste management modules have given a once choking dump site a new lease of life as it spreads a breath of fresh air in the region. The lifespan of this dump site, which was projected to only last five years, has now been given a new lease of life. We expect that it may actually last another 25 years. Why? Because the tonnage of waste that was going to the dump site has reduced significantly because of the reuse, because of the recycling, because of the material resource recovery programs that we were able to, to undertake jointly with the CSUDP and the county government. Through the support of CSUDP, we were able to develop the county solid waste management uh, bill and the county development bill. We were also able to develop the county, Nakuru County, uh, climate change deal. Kilifi Local Urban Forum has presented alternative budgets with the community's key priority areas to the county government for requisite budgetary allocations. Community projects which were uh, proposed by communities to the county government so that they can be included in the county budget, 34% uh, of, uh, of what the community proposed went into the budget. Mombasa Local Urban Forum championed the development of a county management and administration bill to push for proper land legislation. We thought it was important for us to engage between the community, the county, and the ten and uh, the landlords. The people of Mombasa received a gift from the county assembly. They they adopted the Mombasa County Land Policy in 2016, and happily enough, we are looking at the implementation of it. Mombasa is the first county which has developed a um, county land management and administration bill. I see these tools that have been developed uh, with the help of CCDP being so critical in helping the counties and the municipalities comply to the legal, you know, the constitutional and the legal obligation that uh, has been bestowed upon the counties and the municipalities. This is, in our opinion, what then uh, would drive uh, an all-inclusive urban uh, development and urbanization. Urbanization, therefore, we said, is not just the physical process. It is a social, it's a cultural process. The aforementioned gains can only be sustained and upscaled through continued collaborations. That is why CSUDP is inviting partnerships. We are grateful to CSUDP and uh, we hope uh, that we can achieve a city that is free, fair and just. So all this is about creating uh, urban areas that are socially functional and, and we, we take a lot of pride in, in the fact that our work as CSUDP before Quito and post Quito really resonate uh, with that uh, particular agenda of the new urban uh, agenda. Civil Society Urban Development Platform for vibrant, dignified, secure and socially inclusive urban living environments. <laughs>